What are the Pelicans doing? This duo is show-stopping. It's box office. And I can't lie, when I first heard of this, I thought, You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. I mean, it's real. Now, what were you thinking, huh? What were you thinking? Another valid question is, Did you forget? You must have forgotten. You had to. Inside and throws it down. A reason try to get a... When Zion got into the league, everybody was like, this is something we've never seen. He was a heavy boy, but he was light on his feet. He was strong as an ox. He was fast. He was quick off at the jump. And that's why they started calling this dude Thanos, because he was like something we hadn't seen. People were asking the question, is he the strongest player in the league as a rookie? No one could move like him. So if Zion was Thanos because of how powerful he was, then Lonzo would have to be the Flash. No one moved the ball quicker up the court than Lonzo. And people hated it at first. They said, Lonzo, he's not dribbling enough. But when they paired him with Zion and he started throwing that ball all up the court from half court, from the other end of the court, we were like, oh my gosh, it has begun. This is the next big duo. And before the bubble, we got to see this thing explode. Lonzo was throwing lobs from the South Pole and Zion was catching them and breaking the rim with brute force. Could have caught a case on it. And we loved it. So we got to see how do we get here today where Lonzo is in trade rumors. First, to find that out, we got to start with the lob from Lonzo to Zion. We barely see it anymore. We used to see that thing three, four, five times a game. It was on the scouting report. Watch out for their bad cuts. Watch out for Zion leaking out. Try to slow down Lonzo. But now the rest of the league is looking at the Pelicans like, oh, we thought you guys were going to be a problem for years to come. You slow down? Woo, we can scra scratch that off of the calendar. We don't have to worry about the Pelicans anymore. We don't have to worry about Lonzo and Zion creating all that energy. We know Stan Van Gundy's gonna make them walk it down slowly and wait till our defense sets up. They know Lonzo's gonna be in the corner and that's not a problem for them. They're like, oh, he'll hit maybe one or two. That's not his game, he's sitting over there, so that's good for us. Lonzo's like the Flash with the Justice League. He doesn't have super strength and he can't shoot laser beams out of his eyes. He's just fast and his speed unlocks everything that he can do. The Flash can beat up bad guys, he can help his teammate out, but without his speed, he can't do any of those things. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, by telling Lonzo Ball to walk the ball up the court all the time, except for if he catches a rebound in transition, has literally tied the Pelicans' hands behind their back. Everybody wants Lonzo to be Superman. Everybody wants Lonzo to be Batman. Lonzo Ball is the Flash, ladies and gentlemen. And the New Orleans Pelicans fumbled the bag and separated Thanos and the Flash when they paired so greatly together. Based off of what? Based off a new coach? You are already going in a great direction. Why switch up everything? And to those people thinking like, really ball facts, you're talking about superheroes during this video? Uh, well, sometimes you gotta break it down to people. If you just talk about basketball and they don't understand basketball, you gotta make a correlation to something else simple that they can understand. So yes, I said what I said. Lonzo should learn how to dribble better, make layups, shoot mid-range jump shots, run half court sets. Yes, he should. But that doesn't mean that this man's skill of running the ball at the court and finding the open man and decision making on the fly, spontaneous, just instinct should not be used. That's what got him drafted so high, number two. That's what made him who he is. And you just wanna put that aside for what? I mean, it just literally makes no sense. And the Pelicans don't even look like they're having fun out there. Zion's got to work harder and harder for shots. Lonzo was just setting the table up for him on so many occasions. They were having a blast. And a happy basketball team is a good basketball team. The New Orleans Pelicans, if they trade Zoe, they would have single-handedly destroyed one of the best duos that we've seen in a while. These guys aren't at their peak. 
If they would have been able to grow together, oh my gosh. But everyone has short memories. And as soon as they make Lonzo play slow, they say Lonzo sucks. Well, look around. There's no coincidences. All of a sudden, Lonzo's not throwing lobs anymore. Lonzo's not getting rebounds anymore. They've taken him out of the position where he can thrive. Last year was not a fluke. Changed his shot. Percentages got better. Was running up and down the court. Quarantine season came. Corona came. Destroyed everything. And he didn't do well in a bubble. It's just a bubble. It was time to get back to regular schedule programming with the New Orleans Pelicans. And they blew it. What NBA team is going to let Lonzo Ball push the ball up the court as fast as he can? I'm not even saying that Lonzo Ball should be the main piece. He should be the franchise player. At Chino Hills, Jello got all the buckets. At UCLA, his teammates got the buckets. In the summer league, Kuzma got the buckets. I'm not saying make him the face. I'm saying let him set the pace. Everyone else is going to get their buckets. They're going to get more points. They're going to get easier points. This is not rocket science. This is not even bias. These are just facts. Ball facts. And don't tell me you want his percentages to get better before you cater to him. He already proved that when you cater to him, his percentages get better. Stop with the foolishness. He's a bust. He sucks. What other player in the league came in a high draft pick and then unwillingly they made him switch his style up his tempo up his bread and butter and then he succeeded that doesn't happen you'll get better at the other things but what you get drafted for that's what you're gonna do they're gonna allow you to do that that's why they drafted you for it some things you can't make it make sense and the only thing I can think of at this point is Lonzo is ahead of his time. He's too fast for the NBA. And there's a lot of fake fans out here that were saying, yeah, Lonzo and Zion, they're, they're the best. They're, they're going to be killing it for years to come. As soon as you see Lonzo made to be a shooting guard, why not be in an uproar about them breaking that connection? No, instead, you're in an uproar, uproar about Lonzo's shooting percentage. You're in an uproar about Lonzo's aggressiveness. Well, how are you going to be aggressive with something that you are not comfortable in? Come on, man. I'm so tired of this, especially tired of people telling me Lonzo needs to adapt. If they won't adapt to him, he needs to adapt. Sometimes you can try all you want, but you're just a specialty player. Why do you think they made the hack a shack a thing? Because Shaq, no matter what he could do, he could not shoot his free throws well. He was great at what he was great at. Like Shaq, Lonzo works on the other things. Lonzo works on all that stuff all the time. But he's still great at what he's great at. And you guys are okay with them wasting what he's great at in the meantime and getting better at the other things. How sad. I heard the trade rumors. I got my eye on a couple teams. Got my ears to the ground. But when it's all said and done, I hope they let Lonzo run. Hit the notification bell. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know the vibes. Ball facts again. Peace.